Well, there's a lot that goes into it. Uh, with COVID and everything, it has put a damper on stuff. So we haven't been able to do as much as we would have, especially in person. But we've been doing a lot of online seminars. So last year and the year before, like we did a lot of seminars. Well, I did a lot of seminars with UNESCO and I did some work with World Skills Canada. I did some work with World Skills Jamaica. I've been in touch with World Skills Costa Rica, dealing with a, an online seminar that they would like to put on as well. So. Mainly everything is pretty much online at this point in time. We just ensure that the youth have a voice and that we make sure the our member countries are comfortable and if there's anything that they need or any information that was passed on to them that's not clear or even past competitors or current competitors from the member countries because we've been introduced to some of them. If they have any questions, if they have, want to get any advice, we would do our best to facilitate that. Definitely say I learned a lot about myself as a person and as a professional. Um, there's a lot that goes into being on the Champions Trust because there's a lot of public speaking involved. But as I said, everything is online now with COVID, so it made it easier because I'm actually not very comfortable with public speaking as outspoken as I am. So given that I was always at home in front of a computer screen having these conversations, it made it easier. But I have learned to fake it until I make it. Um, I've also learned a lot about different cultures and different people. As I said, there's 11 people on the trust this year and all of us are from different countries, different religious backgrounds, different cultural backgrounds. So you learn a lot about different people and you meet other people. And yeah, there's, there's just, it's a whole new experience from being a competitor to now being on the Champions Trust. And seeing it from another perspective, seeing the competition from another perspective is very eye-opening. Honestly, you just have to believe in yourself, even if nobody else does. If it's genuinely something that you want to do, you'll never know unless you try, so you have to pursue it. Even if you are hesitant, even if you do apply and you're not successful, you still try your best and you can always go again. So you really just have to take everything with a grain of salt and if it's something that you are genuinely interested in, just take the leap of faith and go for it. <laughs>